from space exploration to having the upper hand on the field. These are some amazing things about left-handed people. Number 17, 10%. According to Live Science, left-handed people make up just about 10% of the population. Therefore, lefties are a rare breed. However, a person's dominant hand isn't entirely decided by genetics. An article on the U.S. National Library of Medicine website notes that hand preferences start developing before a person is born. Then, during early childhood, it becomes even more apparent. A long time ago, people believed that someone's handedness was determined by a single gene. But, as more research was completed, scientists discovered that up to 40 genes could be responsible for it. These genes wouldn't affect much on their own. It's when they work together that they play a large part in someone's handedness. Beyond genetics, left-handedness can be the result of factors including cultural influence and a person's prenatal environment. There's also a chance that the trait is mostly random. Number 16. Holiday Not only are left-handed people a rare breed, but they also have their own holiday. The day to celebrate this trait is August 13th of every year. Left-handers Day is an excellent day for left-handed folks also called Southpaws, to celebrate being a little bit different from the rest of the crowd. It's also an opportunity for people to take into consideration how difficult it can be for lefties to adapt to a primary, right-handed world. There's even a Left-Handers Day website, where you can find products made explicitly for Southpaws, take surveys, and even sign up for a newsletter. Number 15. Adversity Unfortunately, lefties have received a lot of negative attention throughout history in many countries. A long time ago, some places required that people use their right hand for handling food, greeting people, and eating. The left hand was was reserved for using the bathroom and other hygienic purposes. These regulations were enforced on everyone whether or not they were right-handed, so a person's left hand was eventually considered dirty. Religion also plays a significant role in the mistreatment of left-handed people. Because of this, children have often been forced to use their right hand for writing and various other activities despite being left dominant. Unsurprisingly, this can harm the child. Dyslexia, learning disorders, and speech impediments can result from converting a person to right-handedness. In fact, many countries still try and change people's natural constitutions. For instance, eating with your left hand is considered disrespectful in Indonesia and India. Other countries associate lefties with bad luck. A 2007 study of left-handed Taiwanese children revealed that over half of them have been forced to convert to their right hands. However, the trait is widely accepted in most places nowadays. Don't forget to subscribe! Number 14. Apollo Astronauts Left-handed people have made a significant impact throughout history. Some of these people have even gone to the moon. Two of the Apollo 11 spacemen, who were the first to land on Earth's satellite, were left-handed. They include Mike Collins and Buzz Aldrin. An average of one in four Apollo astronauts were southpaws, which is much higher than average. Others astronaut lefties are Ed Mitchell, Jim Lavelle, Wally Schirra, Dick Gordon, and Charlie Duke. Number 13. Left Ring Finger Wearing a wedding ring on your left hand is something that's standard practice amongst most married couples. But how did this start? Apparently, this tradition began in ancient Rome. They believed that the fourth finger on the left hand encompassed the vena amoris, also known as the vein of love. However, another theory suggests that it comes from a Christian ceremony. The minister would recite the binding prayer, during which he'd say, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and touch the person's thumb, forefinger, and middle finger respectively. Afterward, the minister would place the wedding ring on the fourth finger to complete the union. Number 12, drinkers. Although lefties have a lot of great traits, there are some things they're more likely to do that could have an adverse effect on their health. One of these things is drinking. According to various studies, left-handed folks are more likely to overuse alcohol than those who are right-handed dominant. This is because the right side of the brain doesn't tolerate alcohol as well. However, despite the research, there is no conclusive evidence on whether or not it's true that lefties drink more. But some arguments suggest that since southpaws are right brain dominant, they are more artistic and creative people. Along with this uniqueness comes more emotional instability, which could contribute to the supposed drinking problem amongst lefties. Number 11. Athletic they might be more inclined to consume alcohol than right-handed people. However, lefties have the advantage when it comes to sports. Numerous famous athletes are left-handed. Some notable ones are Bobby Orr, Babe Ruth, and Arnold Palmer. Even LeBron James is a southpaw. So it's widely believed that lefties are innately better athletes. However, it could be due to the element of surprise. Since the majority of people are right dominant, they aren't necessarily on the lookout for the curveballs lefties throw, so to speak. Number 10. Famous left-handed people Left-handed people are known for more than their athleticism. In fact, many of the famous talented people we know and love are lefties. Maybe they're just more likely to make a lasting impression than their right-handed counterparts? Some of them include Facebook creator Mark Zuckerberg, producer and host Oprah Winfrey, and Tomb Raider actress Angelina Jolie. Other lefties are Bill Gates, Helen Keller, Marie Curie, and Jimi Hendrix. From guitar genius to world-changing scientists, southpaws seem to influence all areas of society. Even Queen Elizabeth II is left-handed. Number 9. Scholarships Being left-handed might have its downfalls, but many things make it worthwhile, such as scholarships. One of these is the Frederick and Mary F. Beckley 
Scholarship, which is offered to Southpaws who have completed at least their first year at Juniata College in Pennsylvania. It is worth $1,000 to $1,500 every year. Another offer is the James River Church Left-Handed Scholarship, which is awarded to lefties seeking the associate's degree in leadership. It's worth $500 a year, and the students have to write a 500-word essay about life as a lefty. A Las Vegas-based scholarship is the Lawyers Plus Southpaw Scholarship, which is worth $1,500 and is given to left-handed students that attend accredited United States institutions full-time. Number 8. West Virginia Not only are lefties offered special scholarships and have their own holiday, but these unique people also have their own town. There's a city in West Virginia that's called, you guessed it, Left Hand. It is located in Rowan County on Route 36 and was named after the Left Hand Run Creek. Number 7. Left Pod Although man's best friend might not be able to pass a football with his left paw, he can definitely be left dominant. A study conducted at the University of Manchester in 2006 suggested that half the dogs are left pod and the other half are right pod. But dogs aren't our only furry friends that can be lefties. Domestic cats have a dominant side as well. A 1991 study done at Ataturk University in Turkey showed that most cats favor their right paw. It also suggested that 40% are left pod and 10% ambidextrous, meaning they're equally compatible with both sides. Number 6. Negatives Lefties definitely have a ton of positive traits. They're athletic, successful, and creative. However, some things make their lives a bit difficult. Left-handed people are more likely to suffer from allergies and insomnia, so many of the night owls out there are most likely southpaws. They also tend to go through puberty about five months later than their right-handed counterparts. Plus, lefties more frequently have dyslexia and problems with stuttering. Number 5. Presidents It's no secret that many left-handed people have become extremely successful. We've already mentioned a few of them earlier in the video. Some of them were also United States presidents, but only eight of the 45 leaders we've had so far have been southpaws. The first one was James Garfield, the 20th U.S. president. Apparently, he could write with his right and left hands simultaneously in two separate languages. The country's 31st president, Herbert Hoover, was a lefty as well. Number 33, Harry S. Truman, began his life left-handed, but he was forced to use his right hand while writing since the trait used to be frowned upon. Gerald Ford, the 38th U.S. president, was also a lefty. He once said that he was left-handed while he was sitting down and right-handed when he was standing up. The United States 40th president, Ronald Reagan, was another man with this trait, and George H.W. Bush, the 41st, was a lefty as well. The 42nd and 44th presidents, Bill Clinton and Barack Obama, make up the 7th and 8th left-handed men in office so far. Number 4. Ambidextrous Since left-handedness has often been conducted a bad trait throughout history, people were forced to know how to use their right hands for everyday tasks. So it might not surprise you that left-handed folks are much more likely to become ambidextrous. A study reported by the Irish Times suggested that southpaws could train themselves to use their right hands more quickly than those who are right dominant. The reasoning for this could be due to history, present-day society, genetics, or a mix of all three. We briefly mentioned that right-handed people are dominant in their left brains, and left-handed people are the opposite. However, the science is more complicated than that. In fact, a lefty's brain is more symmetrical, meaning that there isn't a huge difference in the functionality of either hemisphere. Therefore, they are more easily able to pick up the use of their right hands. Another reason for this could be the result of necessity. Items like scissors, ballpoint pens, and spiral notebooks are all made for right-handed people. So, left-handers have had to learn to cope by using their right hands. Number 3. Twins Although left-handers only make up about 10% of the population, the trait is seen more frequently in twins than anyone else. About 21% of identical twins are southpaws, but the probability of both identical twins having the trait is just 4%. However, if a parent is left-handed, then the chance of one twin being a southpaw in both fraternal and identical twins is 57%. To make things a bit more confusing, if both parents are either identical or fraternal twins are right-handed, then the chance of one being left-handed is 21%. In fraternal twins, the probability of one being right-handed and the other being left-handed is 23%. But like their identical counterparts, the frequency of both fraternal twins being left-handed is just 4%. Number 2. Unique Tools Since people have become more inclusive and accepting over time, nowadays there are plenty of tools designed specifically for left-handed people so that they can experience the same convenience as righties have throughout history. As we mentioned previously, southpaws have a difficult time riding in spiral notebooks. This is because the metal spiral is generally on the left side of it. So people can now purchase notebooks with the spiral on the right side, making writing much easier for the lefties out there. Another tool that's notoriously difficult to use for left-handed folks is scissors. It may seem strange, but trying to cut paper using your left hand is problematic at best. It can result in a cramp and frustration, but now there are left-handed scissors to make life easier. Another thing that most of us use almost daily that's difficult for southpaws is a can opener. Since some can openers are specifically made for lefties now, they can pop open a can of beans in a hurry. Other items that have left-handed options include pens, guitars, keyboards, and bowling balls. Number 1. Creativity Although some right-handed people might disagree with this sentiment, left-handed people are often more creative than their righty counterparts. 
One reason for this is that lefties are accustomed to dealing with challenging tasks. Since most things are designed for right-handed people, southpaws have had to overcome various obstacles throughout their lives. Considering that lefties are usually more right-brained or symmetrically brained than right-handed people, they rely on their intuition more than logic when making decisions. They typically judge things based on how they feel about it instead of looking at the facts. This plays into their creativity. Southpaws are much more likely to follow the fluidity of ideas running through their brains rather than considering each detail before diving into a project or issue. Lefties also tend to go along with their gut feelings. This might be a reason that so many celebrities, artists, and writers are left-handed. Plus, people with this trait are capable of processing information more quickly than righties. Since many of them have symmetrical brains, meaning both sides are evenly used, they are fast to understanding and learning new things. Lastly, lefties are very independent. They have been the odd ones out for the majority of their lives, which has caused them to work well by themselves and be okay with living alone. Today's feature comment is from Ruben on our Truth About Eminem video. Thanks for your comment, Ruben. Don't forget to leave your thoughts below, and we might feature you in a future video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.